And with India's union budget around the corner, diamond traders in the western Indian city of Surat have laid out their own demands for their industry. The main objectives of these demands are to increase global exports, identify new trading partners and to better promote diamond jewellery in India. Channel News Asia's Zain Awan with the story. India's diamond capital Surat is here in the western Indian state of Gujarat. Surat's population is around 5 million, 10% of whom some 500,000 residents are believed to be employed in dealing, polishing or cutting diamonds. And with the impending federal budget, the diamond merchants are keen to lay out their own demands and expectations. अगले बजट के अंदर केंद्र सरकार को जो हमारी मोनोपोली है पॉलिश डायमंड के अंदर वो टिकाने के लिए कोई अहम कदम उठाना पड़ेगा खास करके हीरा उद्योग के सालों से जो टर्नओवर टैक्स की जो डिमांड है उसके परिपूर्ण करना चाहिए सूरत इज होम टू मोर देन 3000 लार्ज एंड स्मॉल पॉलिशिंग कंपनीज साइटिंग एन ऑलरेडी सबड्यूड इकॉनमी द डायमंड मर्चेंट्स आर आस्किंग फॉर टैक्स रूल्स एंड नॉर्म्स टू बी ईज्ड they are recommending the implementation of the benign assessment tax procedure and therefore a reduction of the net profit to 2.5% of turnover instead of 6% for the computation of income tax. Raw material, rough diamond, which is a mining company that wants to sell here, so they have a notified area और जितना भी माल बेच यहाँ पे बिक्री होती है उसके ऊपर ही टैक्स लगे बाकी का माल वापस आ सके। The Diamond Merchant Association also wants the establishment of a special fund created by the Reserve Bank of India to the tune of three to five billion US dollars for the refinancing of loans given to export industries which have a high import content of more than 70 percent of their exports. Surat's diamond industry is a major contributor to India's economy. With less than a month to go before the union budget is announced, the demands and expectations of the city's diamond merchants must be given a due consideration because their share numbers make them a real force to be reckoned with. Zainawan for Channel News Asia, India.